Brothers and sisters, our um, bodies are well wanted, well desired by these alien species. And um, we've got to become more aggressive towards them so that we can protect ourselves. Um, they've taught us loving and caring. But you got to understand that their desire is to keep us at a lower state of mind so that they can continue to control us and take us down. The reason why our ancestors and Mother Cosmos, our our manifester, our creator, our manifester told us to stay within and to mate within ourselves, to stay within ourselves because as a scientific um, purpose for this, when we made outside of ourselves, the children that are born lack the elements that are necessary to keep them going. All right. You know, you got a lot of mix. All right. So, you know, I'm, I'm this, I'm this, you're hybrid. You're not pure. You're not us. That's number one. You're, you're, you're not pure. You're a mixture. These inorganic beings, they're mostly made of silicone. And they have very few trace metals to actually keep them alive. And when the doctors give them shots, they give them melanin shots when they're born. Just to make sure that, you know, they can survive. So they have a little bit of us in their bodies at the time of birth. All right. We're going to, we're going to be going over some of the metals that are within our bodies. Okay. And these will be known as, you know, heavy metals. So we're going to start with um, uh, lanthanum, which is number 57. Lanthanum. This is one of the battles that make up our bodies because the periodic table is literally a uh, table of elements that mix up the carbon-based body. And the crazy part about it is not all the elements. All right. So this is lanthanum. Lanthanum. L-A-N-T-H-A-N-U-M. Lanthanum. All right. That's lanthanum. That's um, a part of our biological makeup, all right? Um, it's number 57. It's the atomic number is 57. Symbols LA. Um, is it? And you can look it up yourself. That's lanthanum. All right. Now we're going to go through this right here. Um, let's see what the next one is. Cerium. All right. Let's see what cerium looks like. Because these 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 Saxons there, they literally have our um. Our metals in their possession. All right. That's cerium. Atomic weight number 58. You can do some more research on it yourself. Okay. And this is what cerium looks like. All right. That's what cerium looks like. So many of the... Um, Structures that we built long ago were made up of these different metals, right? They were made up of these different metals. And, you know, remember what we say, that which is on the outside of us feeds the inside of us. So we um, no longer had that. Okay. We got PR... Um, A S E O D. 
Okay, Prosodi, Prosodium, 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 and this is what it looks like. This Prosodium. This is another element that's with that makes up our carbon body. All right. Remember, we are full metal jackets, so we are literally made of heavy metals, and that's why it's important that we don't have extra heavy metals in our bodies. All right. That's another picture of prosodium. All right. Um, this is the prosodium. All right. And you just do the extra study yourself. Get, get some extra study at in, okay? So, neodymium. We know what neodymium is. That's another element that's within our bodies. All right? This is neodymium in this original form and it is highly magnetic all right it is the most powerful magnet known on this realm all right and this is within our carbon-based bodies all right neodymium and this is the um that is the symbol in the all right, atomic number 60. All right, that's neodymium. All right, and do some more study on yourself. Promethium. All right, I want to talk about promethium one time. That's promethium. That's the atomic number there. All right. That's one of the elements that makes up our carbon-based body. Promethium. Okay. Do your own research. And this is the what the element looks like right here. Promethium. Elements looks exactly like that. All right, so you have to understand that we have element table of what makes up our body. This is the periodic table of elements, the elements that makes up the carbon body. Okay, you got samarium. All right, Can you see that there? One piece of samarium is going for $1,700. $1,700 for one small piece of it. And that's a part of our biological makeup as original beings. That's one of the metals that's within our bodies. So, this is samarium right here. That is samarium. This is what makes up our bodies part of the the metal system in our bodies important for you all to know all right let me give you the um give you the information on this right here so that you know sm Atomic weight is 62 SM. That's Samaria. All right. And this is not all of the metal cells within our body because our body contains 375 rare metals. And these are all rare metals that are not 
readily available, but they have traces of them. All right. We have europium. Europium. This also makes up our carbon based body. All right. That's europium. And this is what it looks like. See how powerful we are. And, you know. Nobody really talks about what we are made of, you know. And this is these are the some these are the, some of the elements that we're made of. I'm gonna go um, with these heavy metals here, these heavy rare metals, and then I'm gonna go later on. I'm gonna go to um, some other different metals. All right, so. Um, because we're, we're made of so many metals, so many metals that, that makes up this body. All right. Gadolinium. 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 D O L I. Gadolinium. All right. This is gadolinium. All right, you see that? That's gadolinium. All right, time at number 64. All right, and this is what it looks like. It's a rare metal. This is one of the makeups of our um, bodies. All right, gadolinium is not readily accessible like gold and copper and platinum and titanium it's a rare metal and it's found within our carbon-based bodies all right um we have next terbium Terbium. And you do some more research on terbium. All right. If you see PM, like something may have 206 PM, PM means picometer. So just, just remember PO means picometer. Um, and then, you know, I'll go into picometer and we'll, we'll study some of that a little later. But this is another of the rare elements found in our carbon body. All right. You understand how powerful we are and the, the the metals that mix up this body that that we are in this carbon body like i said brothers this is our bodies are well, well sought out by these aliens that are on our realm all right there's 57 different alien species on our realms on our realm here alone and they want what's inside of us and what's on us they want this because this this is the only way they can really have access to some of these metals all right um diprosium Diprosium is a chemical element with the symbol DY, the atomic number 66. It is a rare earth element. Um, in the lanthanide series, the metallic silver luster dipro uh, diprosium is never found in nature as a free element, though other like other lanthanides is found in various metals such as xenotime. All right, so this is diprosium. It is a rare metal that is within our bodies that, that makes up our carbon-based bodies. So I'm just doing the lanthanides right now. I'll do the uh, the uh, 
other um, metals very soon. I'll do the uh, actinize later on. I'm just doing the lanthanize right now. And this is diprosium right here, DY. All right, so these are all the lanthanide metals. I'll do the actinide metals a little later. Okay. Hol holmium. Okay. Yeah. Holmium. Holmium. Mm, that's the atomic number. And this is the that's the symbol H O. All right. And it is a rare metal. All right. Like I can say they're not readily available metals, but this is one of the metals that makes up our carbon body. All right. I saw something said a homium laser. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to get into that. Erbium. 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 And that is the atomic um, information. You do your own um, studies on erbium. All right. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's a rare metal. This is one of the other rare metals that makes up our bodies. It's erbium. And they, these Saxons have made lasers from some of these rare elements. All right, you have to remember that even after um even after our body they have like our bodies have died this melanin is still active all right this carbon in our bodies remains active forever even after we have our spirits have left the body this carbon is still active all right which means that the body still has power even after the spirit has left. All right. Let's see where we go on next. Um, uh, tholium. This is tholium. Thallium, this is the atomic information. Thallium. All right. And this is the metal, thallium. It's another metal that makes up our carbon based body. All right. Like I said, you see why our bodies are so sought after. These sexes know about us. They know about our bodies. All right. We can go to this next one. Then we got one more in the Lanthanide series. All right. Um, uh, no, 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 that's not it. Okay, it's um, pronounced iterbium, it, iterbium, iterbium, all right, iterbium, that's what it is, iterbium, that's the atomic information on it, you do some more study yourself, 
and this is that element. And that's the way the metal looks. It's a rare metal that's only found within our bodies. All right, it's hard to find it in nature, but it's easily found in our bodies. And they've found out how to remove some of these elements from our bodies. All right. Certain chemicals that separate certain metals and you know, you understand how powerful we are, brothers and sisters. I mean, I keep telling y'all that this is why we're not supposed to mate with outside of us. We're only supposed to be within our species that we may bring forth the same within our species, even if you have brothers and sisters who um, give birth to albinos, the albinos still have what's in us and the dark version. The albino is just two recessive genes. It's not a white person. It's an albino. All right. They just carry a recessive gene, but they're still us. All right. They're still fully us. And they have the same elements that we do. It's just that their elements are far more active than our elements. Kind of crazy. You say it's a recessive gene, but they have they can they can be more powerful than the darker carbon burst carbon um version of our species and they are the lighter carbon version of our species some of them can be even more powerful when they tap into their energy um you know, you, uh lutetium Lutetium. Lutetium. All right. That is the atomic information. All right. And like I said, this is the lanthanide series here. So we'll do the uh, actinide series a little later. And this is the, the lutetium metal. All right. That's what that metal looks like. And that's one of the metals that makes up a carbon-based body. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fifteen metals in the lanthanide series that makes up our carbon-based body. All right, that's fifteen that makes up our carbon-based bodies, and these are some powerful metals. All right, so you have to understand. Um, we can go, um, let's go Lutetium, let's just say radioactivity of Lutetium, um, Lutetium is highly radioactive, all right? It's a highly radioactive um, metal, which I told you all we are highly radioactive beings. So this is lutetium, highly radioactive. Once you see that there, all right. So um, we got y t t. Let's go return the ytterbium radioactivity. Um, the radioactive isotopes. Um, let's do that there instead. Radioactive isotopes. All right. Um, all uh, ytterbium, um, ytterbium natural occurring ytterbium is composed of seven stable isotopes. All right, so they is ytterbium is not uh, highly radioactive. But it's got uh, seven stable isotopes, so it is more of a neutral metal 
and not that of a um, active or uh, or not that of a negative or positive metal. Okay, we have neutral metals, we have negative um, energy metals, and we have positive energy metals. And thus, um, we looked at luter uh, la, um, lutetium which, because it's radioactive, that would make it a negative energy metal, all right, which is, it creates um, powerful negative energy because it's radioactive. Let's see, we're going to say neodymium, all right, let's go to neodymium real quick. Um... Neodymium. Video activity. All right. And neodymium is a radioactive metal. And that's one of the metals that makes up our carbon based body. Neodymium is um, easily accessible, all right? There are uh, neodymium metals all across this realm, which is why that magnet is so um, prominent, all right? It's magnetic, it's naturally magnetic, and it's radioactive as well, all right? Anytime you're dealing with something that's radioactive, that metal can create gateways, can create, create portals, can, can actually open up vortexes because of the, the powerful energy that it carries. And it's a negative energy, all right, which is a feminine energy, all right? So, you know, this just wanted to go over some of these things. Let's go, just went over some stuff, you know. Let's just say, um, we're going to do this last one right here. We're going to go, um, we're going to lengthen them, uh, radioactivity, and it's lengthen them radioactive. We're going to go all here. Um, Lanthanum is a chemical element and the symbol LA atomic except Scandinavian, the radioact and the radioactive promethium. All right. Um, A total of 38 radioactive isotopes of lanthanum, including nuclear isomers, have been characterized. So, lanthanum is radioactive. That was the very first one that we went through. Lanthanum is radioactive. So, many of these metals are the, the lanthanides, and that's what lanthanum um, is the very first of this type of metal. What's they call a lanthanide? Um, lanthanum is radioactive, and it is a powerful metal within our bodies. So, just wanted to go over that with you all. We're gonna go over some more um, elements very soon. Um, kind of like get your pencil and paper together and write down some stuff and do some studying and then study the radioactive radioactivity. Find out about your body. All right, knowledge of self is extremely important because this is what the Saxons wanted. To do. They wanted us to remove that knowledge of self. So now, as I'm here, I'm here to help you all to regain that knowledge of self. All right, self knowledge is important. So let's talk about your body. Let's learn about your body, how powerful you are. All right, and we're going to go deeper into some other studies. All right, we're going to go into the actinides uh, next. And then from actinides, we'll be on to some other, uh, other parts of the, the periodic table of elements, okay? 
So I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Glad you were here for the study here. And um, I'll see you guys next time.